Hello, this is Evangelist Dr. Robert L. McKim Sr. from Carrollton, Ohio. I want to make a uh, quick uh, short video here to uh, clarify a word that I mispronounced in the uh, book Jim Baker, Miscarriage of Justice. There was a word in there that we're clearly, I mean, come on now, who would think V-O-O -O would be pronounced with a Z, rendezvous is the actual pronunciation of the word. I got the look at again and I'm like wait a minute something doesn't really you know sound right here so then um, of course I looked it up in my dictionary and then I found out it says rendezvous uh, rendezvous that does not that word does not sound like rendezvous r-o-n-d ron de Vu, V O O, rendezvous. Sometimes I wonder how they come up with such words with other letters in there that does not make a bit of sense whatsoever. Why? Because I can tell you why. There's a lot of moronic people out there in this world that think, oh, I'm going to trip up somebody that doesn't know how to read words like that because let me tell you something I'm smarter than that you can't trip me up for long I will look it up and I will uh, go back and uh, try to figure it out later on But like I said, who would even think of a word rendezvous with a Z? Rendezvous? Come on now, that doesn't make no bit of sense whatsoever to pronounce a word with another letter that shouldn't belong. As I got out of the Greek words and the Hebrew words. You wonder how they get the English version of those words, and lots of times they don't get it right. They put things in the Bible. That means one thing in God's Word when it actually means something else. Like a lot of people, a lot, lot, lot of Christians believe that the word wrath, which is orge in the Greek, means tribulation. But it doesn't. Wrath of God and tribulation are two different words in the Greek, and they mean different things as well. But there's, like I said, there's people that they'll, they'll believe whatever, because some preacher said it or some priest said it or some pope said it versus versus reading the scripture and oh yeah here's um and here's what the greek says and i have the greek and i have the uh i have the greek and i have the uh, english uh new testament and i also have a um Dictionary, English and Hebrew dictionary as well. 
so and like I said I have a other dictionary another dictionary that I can look into as well so I just want to clarify real quick that I mispronounced a word that I was trying to pronounce because it had a Z in it and yeah I have an issue with pronouncing some words but I'll go back and I'll look at it again and again until I figure out the correct pronunciation and I'll come back on here and say yeah I made a mistake on pronouncing that word and here's the correct meaning for that word does that make me wrong no it makes me smart because I'm willing to go back and look at the word and try to figure out how is that word really pronounced so you know just bear with me you know I might not be the sharpest tool in the shed but yet I know a lot of things that a lot of people need to wake up and listen to like my my like my pastor said Sunday a lot of people out there want to say they believe in science and God but excuse me God created science God's the creator of science God created gravity and that is science God created the weather and that is science now I also understand those are things that people don't want to give me credit for knowing and understanding just because I have a little slip up every now and then I need to go out here post this real quick God bless you have a blessed rest of your evening and a good night.